how long has it been since that thing's been on the channel. So I'm having the shop cleaning up a little bit. And I figured I'd catch you guys up to speed. So it's been a couple crazy weeks. Seen my fab tech, a lot going on. So yeah, I'm going to catch you up. So at fab tech, I was talking to uh, Mr. Michael Furick. And uh, you guys probably know him from the TIG Cups. Anyway, long story short, tell him I was looking for an English wheel. He said he had one. That he'd sell me. And so I made the trip to Charlotte. Picked this bad boy up. Well, I got a little bit of footage. Let me show you that. So kind of spur of the moment trip to Mooresville. Headed up to uh, Mike Fierick's place. So he, uh, when we was at uh, Fabtech, got to talking about uh, just equipment. And we were just kind of hanging out, shooting the shit. I told him I had trouble finding stuff that I wanted on like Craigslist. I told him I was looking for an English wheel. He's like, dude, I got one, I'll sell you. So, yeah. It's like a three hour ride. Gonna make this happen. I'm not gonna bore you with the trip, but the dog fab we go. So this, this is, is the shenanigans that go down in dog fair. Yo, so this is not came. really the stuff then? Well, no, because his mom came into town. So Nick was like going for two months excited his mom was coming out. And it was almost like Mother's Day. And that's how I found that. And, and uh, Look, got so the I'm beebs. Like, so I got the beebs. Yeah, you got to have the beebs. So, I mean, when he when he came in and he's, his mom, like, oh, this is where I work. You know, I had this going on over here. <laughs> well, that's it. Furex place. I think going to great amount of detail in his shop probably gonna come back and maybe do something with him later on very very cool place it's been a couple years since I've been up that way so it's cool to see how much he's grown anyway got a bunch of stuff I'll uh, show it to you when we get to the house So this is a good looking machine. This is uh, this is one of Metal Ace's older machines. They've kind of made a couple little updates with I think another gusset that goes kind of in here on both sides. But this is their 44 inch unit. So from back to front, 44 inches. It's got the big wide three inch uh, anvil. Anvil dies. And then the crown on these things kind of works its way up. It's a flat. Or almost flat. So I've been cleaning these up. Um, I actually need to polish these pretty good. It's got a little wear right down the center, but definitely, definitely gonna get the job done. I actually ordered a couple other pieces for this thing. I ordered a rubber band uh, for the wheel itself. Just stretch metal in one way, or actually it'll allow me to dome stuff. Uh, I'll be able to do the trans tunnel on the uh, Bibster, and um, yeah, I mean this thing's gonna be gonna be uh, very useful here in the next little bit. 
So, other than that, just trying to clean up the shop. I got a mess out here. I got so much crud in this place. I'm going to start maybe taking a little bit of stuff over to the new shop. Uh, just to kind of store it for now. I'll kind of move it around as I need to while I'm working on the shop or while somebody else is working on the shop. Got the goose out of here. I'm going to just try to clean up, try to get back on this bibster. So things will start kind of settling down around the house. I'll have time to work on this thing. I can get out here in the evenings. Uh, the only thing that I've got kind of left is um, I may go to PRI in a couple weeks in Indy. It's another trade show. That'll be three for the year. This is the performance racing industry trade show, so it's more of the, the race side. So SEMA is like the show car side of it. Uh, you got Fabtech, which is all about the equipment, and then you got PRI, which is all about the racing side. So I was kind of checking flights and hotels uh, today. I can get something pretty cheap, so I may, may go up there for a couple days and just make it three, three shows for this year. But other than that, I got number time, number time to work on the bibster. So that's kind of the plan. Gonna get everything straightened up, get some of this stuff out of here that I don't need in here, and then start cranking out some videos for you guys on these. I also have some other videos I want to do. One of which is this weld tables positioner. So I've had this thing for a while. I've actually, all got the parts all laid out here, kind of going through them. But I need to build that thing. Got some new Killfab grinder racks. So these are like single station grinder racks. They've got the cord holders on each side. Kind of a redesign a little bit. Um, and what's nice about these is if you have multiple grinders, you just can buy several of them and stack them together. So these will be for sale pretty soon. Killfab.com. Let's see. So CK, the standard in TIG welding. These are the amazing torches that everybody uses. Got a setup for the Fronius. So CK is now making full conversions for the Fronius machine. Gonna do a full video on that as well. Kind of show you this thing. This is the number 20 water cooled setup. And um, they've got the O-ringed adapters that, that are made for the Fronius machines along with the water cooler adapters. So if you were thinking about getting a magic wave and the thing that was holding you up was that torch, well, CK's got you taken care of. While at Furex, I picked up a bunch of cups, a bunch of different sizes. So I got a bunch of FUPA 12s. Got a 14. What is that? The BB, BBW. That one there. Got it in glass and ceramic. And I also got a um, the 14, which is the moose knuckle. So I'm going to show you these. I'm going to kind of go over this again. I've done some videos in the past on the cups and how important they are. And um, so I'm going to do a full video on that as well. Also got some of these. So this is this is the big bad boy. This is uh, for a lot of gas coverage. This is kind of set up more for your titaniums and your uh, ink and L's and your really precious, I don't know if it's precious metals, but anyway, your very sensitive metals to... Uh, oxygen contamination this thing creates tons of gas coverage so gonna go over these along with some number eights glass might even do a giveaway give some of these away so stay tuned for that if you were looking and maybe getting uh, one of Furex cups gonna do a giveaway so you got a chance to win one um, or you can just go on his website and buy them they're not that expensive and they really really are that great that's all I got for you. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.